All right, I am here with Yoshiko Okawa, and you are playing Mono White Aggro today. Tell us a little bit about why you chose to play Mono White. Oh, I and Reza to choose the Mono White decks because this deck is very good against uh, EZ decks, and also um, so so against Mono Green. So this deck is very good position in this meta game. I we think. Yeah, absolutely. Those were definitely the two big decks uh, going into this tournament. So first, let's start by talking about the one drops here. We have Usher of the Fallen and Storm's Bind Familiar. That's not a card we've seen a lot. Uh, tell us about uh, that card and why you chose to only play three of it. The one mana drops are important for Mono White, but we have also found that drawing too many one mana creatures can lead to defeat. So after much consideration, we decided to cut one dog. So because um, we only seven one mana creature play. Okay, absolutely makes sense to me. So let's go into the two drops here, where this is really the the power of the deck. Luminarch Aspirant, best white two drop I imagine, and then we have Intrepid Adversary, which is also quite good. But Sun Gold Sentinel, I haven't seen that very much. Tell me a little bit about why you chose yeah. to play that card. Yeah, Sun Gold Sentinel is a very good combination with Stormbinder, Storm, Stormbinder's Familiar. And also, yeah, they can finish the late or middle games because he can get um, Hexproof and uh, Unblockable. So in our playtesting, he finished the game many times. Yeah, it doesn't really matter if they have a lot of blockers, just get on through. I like that one a lot. So, all right, let's get to uh, our next slide here where we have kind of the the heavy hitters of the deck. And that is Adeline, Redain, and then Elite Spellbinders. There is a ton of very good um, white three drops to be able to be played. What made you choose on these three creatures? Normally, um, Brutal Kasha is played in Mono White. But we thought that Z decks, uh, Z dragons, and Z tanks would be the top meta game, top meta at the worlds. So we considered reducing brutal Kasha in uh, from the main board. So we decided to use uh, more Adrian and Raiden, which are strong against Z decks. Yeah, makes sense to me. Stop those all runs epiphany at, at all costs. I like it. So let's head to our last slide here where we have the, the removal here. We have Portable Hole and Fateful Absence as well as Maul of the Skyclave. What made you land on this removal spread? Portable Hole is very cheap and uh, good combination with Storm uh, Binders Familia, but uh, very narrow target so uh, we, we can play only two. And Fateful Absence is uh, very strong uh, with intense instant speed and uh, every uh, that can kill every creature so we can, we can play three. Okay, hey, makes sense. That is a very versatile removal spell. Well, thank you so much, Yoshiko Okawa. I wish you the best of luck and let's send it back to the World Championship. Thank you very much. I will do my best.